Guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Or maybe if by some miracle the YouTube gods bless me by putting new faces in front of me. Anyway, regardless of the fact, my name is Dave. This channel is all about grooming and fragrance. If that is something you are interested in and you enjoy entertaining content that gives you some information as well, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would appreciate it. So, few weeks back, I was tagged by my good friend Dwight over at Silverback Siage and his, his channel. So he does fragrance content. And what he wanted to do was tie in his normal, you know, fragrance content and combine it with Black History Month. So this is where we have the idea for the video, 10 Black Bottle Bangers. Now, I was reminded to do this tag video. I say that as a joke, but Tyler over at Simply Fragrances also tagged me about a few days ago to do this video. But I do want to uh, really extend my appreciation to Dwight. Thank you for thinking of me. Tyler, you know what, man? Thank you also for thinking of me. So both channels will be linked down below. You guys are going to love them. You're going to subscribe to them because they both put out fantastic content. Without further ado, we're going to jump into this list. No particular order. I put out a bunch of <laughs> black bottle fragrances. I honestly didn't realize how many fragrances I own that were in a black bottle. I put them all in front of me. I grabbed 10, and that's what we're rolling with here. No specific order, designer, and niche, blah, 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 blah. First fragrance up, one of my favorite winter fragrances of all time. This comes from Bulgari. This is Man in Black. If you're not familiar with this, you should familiarize yourself with it. A anyway, I love this one because of the use of spices. And the way the spices play off of the tobacco and the rum, you get a faint hit of rum. This isn't overly boozy, and I like that here. Most times I do knock designers for not giving us enough booze, but I like the way it's done here because it adds a bit of class and sophistication here. So how I would want you to wear this fragrance is wear this on a night out. Um, no specific, you know, maybe you're going to meet some friends, but you want to dress up. You want that level of sophistication about yourself. When you go out, people are going to notice the way you look. They're going to think that you look great. Now they notice you walk by, you smell fantastic. And it's not a recognizable smell because, well, designers have been putting out trash recently. And this is far from that. This is actually great. And you seem like you're on the serious side because of the way you're dressed and the way you smell. They approach you, they start talking to you, they realize that you're very lively and you're charismatic and you have this like playful side to you while maintaining that sophisticated, serious side as well. We've got some spicy content coming up on the channel very soon, so stay tuned for that. But while you're waiting, order yourself a bottle of Men in Black by Bulgari so you can have this winter black bottle banger in your collection. Next... We are going to talk about one of my favorite designer iris fragrances coming from um, Givenchy. This is Gentleman Givenchy, and this is the Eau de Parfum. I love this stuff because to me, it's kind of a gourmand iris. So, by the way, I get like, I, I swear they're using two different iris notes in here because I get a buttery iris like like almost like orris butter and i get this pottery iris also so uh, against those um two iris notes that i'm guessing are in here you have woods here you have a a small hint of spice but really this fragrance is all about creamy and buttery iris some vanilla and musks those musks are really helping amplify the powderiness of that iris the butteriness of perhaps that other iris that I'm guessing, and the vanilla. This stuff is great. You could definitely wear this in the office. It's just a nice crowd-pleasing scent. It, it can lean a bit on the gourmand side. I could definitely see that. To me, it's not like a full-on, in-your-face, overly sweet gourmand. It's a beautiful fragrance, one that I talk about quite frequently on the channel because I just love it. I, I really do, and I think it's very versatile in the way that you, in the sense that you could wear it in a t-shirt and jeans if you wanted to, and you could also dress this one up and wear it in a suit and tie if you wanted to as well. Now, if you are going to wear this in a suit and tie, I recommend putting on a black suit with a white shirt and um, maybe you know a red pocket square 
would be a nice contrast the color but guys gentlemen javon shiota parfum is fan freaking tastic and one that you should definitely check it out check out so next we are moving on to a um an indie niche brand called sphinx fragrances and this is black anabis love this i could see you love this bottle here in the fragrance itself you know what let's man i enjoy this one so this fragrance here is all about grapefruit saffron some tonka bean some amber it this is a very nice kind of seductive playful but not juvenile date night fragrance this is great for a date night when you want to impress your significant other or a girl that or you know person i don't really care what you guys do but a person that you just met and you really want to impress them this is a great one to go with a great choice and the reason why I say that, not only because of the scent profile, but, but because of its performance. When you're in a close proximity of somebody, you don't want that fragrance to be smacking them in the face every second, you know, just pumping at them. What I like about this is it's moderate and it doesn't push too far off of your skin or at least of my skin to where it becomes annoying or obnoxious, especially, like I said, when you're in close proximity of somebody. So that, you know, you could definitely get away with this in the office, but I think it's a little bit too much like on the playful side to wear into an office. Unless you have that personality, then definitely you will get away with this in the office, like I said, because of the way it performs. But for me, this is best suited as a date night fragrance. Best suited, but again, Depending on your personality, it can be quite versatile. But anyway, Black Anabis is definitely one to check out from the house of Sphinx Fragrances. Next is from a brand that you guys, well, and a fragrance too, you guys are probably all familiar with. This one coming from Tom Ford, and this is Ombre Leather 2018. So Ombre Leather is a fruity leather, a little bit of spices, some woods in here. It's a great fragrance to me in my opinion um one thing i wish that other content creators would start doing is stop calling tom ford fragrances niche it's not a niche brand they're a designer it doesn't matter if you're talking about the signature line like this or the uh the private blend line it, it's still a designer like what the heck are you guys talking about anyway this is a great fruity leather um, to me, this is like casual, uber casual, like t-shirt and jeans or biker jacket and, and jeans, maybe, you know, a plain black button down with that leather jacket on. This stuff is awesome. I love this. I think if you're new to leathers and you want to delve into leather, this is one to definitely sample, put on your radar, add to your collection in one way, shape, form, facet or another, because this, well, it's a, it's a black bottle banger. So check it out, Tom Ford, Ombre Leather 2018. Next on the list, this is a gourmand that blew me out of the water. This stuff, I had the original. This was just, oh, okay. It's from the brand Kerosene. This is called Followed. Guys, Followed is just amazing. It's so good. This takes follow well it takes the coffee note that's in follow and surrounds it with these gourmand notes like caramel you have vanilla in here when it dries down there is like kind of this like waffle cone smell if you guys have ever been into like your local coffee shop when they first open up and you smell all those baked goods and all those different syrups that they're prepping to make their different you know um, kind of artisan different you know coffees that they're preparing that's what this smells like all the aromas that you could smell when you're in that you know small coffee shop you smell here and this is just fantastic if you're looking for a gourmand that's beastly like absurdly powerful that and you love coffee and all those gourmand notes and the way that i spoke about this definitely Definitely get your nose unfollowed by kerosene. I want to speak about two um, fragrances that don't get a lot of talk. Um, one, well, let's start with the brand that doesn't get a lot of talk, and it is uh, Aqua de Parma. 
Now this is Colonia Ascenza. You guys know me, you know the channel, you guys know I love this stuff. So this takes the classic Colonia DNA and modernizes a bit with this earthy twist of patchouli, maybe some vetiver in here. I can't quite remember all the notes, so excuse me there. I didn't do any research before this video. I, I got so excited that I was doing this and I had the time, so here we are, right? Yeah, I really love this. So if you're not familiar with the Colonia DNA, it's known for these bright citruses, which you do get at the opening. You have that barbershop heart with the lavender. And like I said, you have that earthy twist, but I feel like they did tinker a little bit. Even with the, the citrus DNA and, and that uh, barbershop quality that the fragrance has, I feel like the entire composition has been modernized a bit here. And this was, after all, I believe this fragrance was launched in 2010. So like what, a hundred years after the original Colonia came out. So uh, I guess it was in need of some type of modernization, right? This stuff is wonderful. I, I love this. It performs like a champion. It's great for the office. It's great for casual settings or scenarios. If you don't have this in your collection, you're looking for something super classy, sophisticated, gentlemanly, and of the most of the highest quality, check out Aqua de Parma Colonia Ascenza. You guys know I'm a fan of the brand Killian. I, I love Killian fragrances. And um, this is a fragrance that flies under the radar, and I'm not quite sure why. And I'm talking about Gold Knight today. So I did a full review of this on uh, on the channel here. I believe it was last year. Maybe it was a few months ago. I, I don't really remember. I, I know there's honey in here, but there's something. I want to say ginger because there's something like snappy and, and spicy and sparkly about this fragrance bergamot so it's bergamot it's ginger it's honey loads of honey you have patchouli in here woods it's it's a little bit on the dark side definitely mysterious <sighs> so freaking good man very very underrated from the house of killian very underrated fragrance maybe it had its limelight once upon a time but Definitely doesn't get talked about much anymore. And I think it's fantastic. And what I appreciate about Killian fragrances is what a lot of people don't like about them. And I can't quite understand why. We get so caught up with performance that we stop focusing on scent, which makes no damn sense to me whatsoever. This one here gets me an easy 10 to 12 hours. Easy 10 to 12 hours. Um, You know... After like six to eight hours, I stop, you know, counting for review purposes and that. But I noticed this lingering on skin well after those, well, well after that time, that six to eight hours is up, okay? Long lasting, powerful, without being obnoxious, all right? That's what I love about this because if I'm in the mood for it and I want to wear it in the office, I can, all right? I, I can do that if I want to. Now, what I recommend... Would this be one that I would recommend like if people were coming to me saying, hey, I want an office scent? No, this wouldn't be one from Killian that I would recommend. However, if you were looking something a little bit more on the mature side that you wanted for like a date night occasion or just something, you know, casual for nights out with friends and things like that, where you want to dress a little bit more on the sophisticated side, a button down, a blazer, things like that, I would totally recommend Gold Knight from Killian. Next fragrance up here, guys, is from the brand Roja Parfum, and this one is Apex Parfum, my favorite of the two. I love this one. You know, comes in a black bottle like the rest of them. You know, I didn't say black bottle banger for every fragrance because by the title, you knew what you were getting. A anyway, I love this one because I like the density. I like the concentration. I feel like... I can pick out each individual accord a little bit more clearer than the uh, Eau de Parfum, if that makes sense. Uh, so with this one here, in comparison to the Eau de Parfum is, uh, or Parfum Cologne, whatever, whatever they call that, uh, this one to me is a little bit more bright. It's a little bit more fresh. Again, when I'm comparing the two, this is very earthy. It is very oak moss centric, you know, um, but I feel like this is a bit more, even more, I should say, even more sophisticated than the original. 
and it's a beast. It is stupid powerful. Two sprays of this on each side of my neck when I'm going into work is almost too much. This is one when I want to wear this in the office, which is where I do wear it the most. I make sure that I give this an hour to dry down before leaving the um before leaving my house and going to work. This stuff is awesome. I love love this stuff. It's it's very good, guys. When you have the chance ugh. When you have the chance and opportunity to check this one out, do it. You won't be disappointed. It's very expensive. Don't blind buy this. Get yourself a sample. And, um, you know, if you can't afford it, add it to your collection. If you can't, save up for it and then add it to your collection. It gives you something to work toward, you know. Yes, I have a video about that coming up soon also. Apex Parfum by Raja. The next fragrance here. I've talked about it nauseum, so I won't bore you to death with this one. It's Plum and Cognac by Sense of Wood. So this one here, you could customize. You could make it into a black bottle, a white bottle, a brown bottle. Those are the only three colors. And you could customize the caps too. So really great options there. I love this stuff. I love this because it's a sophisticated gourmand. I see that every time. I'm Whoops. just getting over being sick, so excuse me. I had a cough. Anyway... The, the beauty of editing and how it benefits us and you sometimes, most times, all the time, I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's what I love about it. Sophisticated, I, I use the, the um, I use things like sophisticated to describe this fragrance because I love wearing this in the office. It makes me feel like, it gives me this sense of confidence. I'm already confident, so it gives me something, I, I guess, extra, it makes me feel extra confident, you know? Just something about spraying this on and having this on your skin and smelling it just makes you feel like the man. I feel like the man when I wear this. And I love it for that. I, I love the syrupy, gooey plum that this, you know, that this cognac has been, you know, sitting in. Or if you just squeeze this drippy plum all over in, in your, you know, glass of cognac. And, and it almost has like this chocolatey facet to it also. This stuff is awesome. I, I love this. I also have a full review of this on the channel. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. I would appreciate it. All right, guys, the last fragrance up with this brand. I actually have a, a haul video coming out. I'm not sure if I'm going to have it up by the end of this week. So probably next week sometime I'll, I'll have the, uh, the haul video ready for you guys. I'm talking about Primera Perfumes. And this one here is called London. So... When I checked this morning, this was uh, out of stock at Max Aroma, but I, I did find out that they will be uh, getting a replenishment stock in. So you can always click the notify me down below on Max Aroma's website, enter your email address, and you'll be notified when stock comes in. So I told you that without talking about the fragrance. So now let's talk about it. So there's kind of this cool air theme running through this fragrance that I pick up on. I associate that with lavender. If you guys, you know, you've seen many of my fragrances or many of my videos where I talk about different ways lavender smells to me. The lavender that Bader used here reminds me of cool air. It has this cool air lavender smell to it. And accompanying, accompanying that note of lavender are cold spices, white oud, you have this fruity nuance of ylang ylang. You also have uh, some other woods in there. This stuff is, it's amazing. It, it's very, very, very good. Um, where is the, there it is. <laughs> the sprayers, sprayers are just out of this world. Yep, you get that, those cold spices, mm, aromatic cold spices and lavender. Cold spices and aromatic lavender right in the opening there. This stuff is awesome. It's a great work scent. Another like boss CEO type of scent there. You don't need much. All of his fragrances that I've experienced so far are extremely powerful. All you need is two sprays. Enough of this like 10 to 14 to 19 sprays. What the? What are you guys doing? Stop doing that, okay? I'm telling you, we got some spicy stuff coming up soon, man. Yeah, this stuff is wonderful. I, I highly encourage you guys... 
to get your nose on Primera Parfum creations. If you guys like off the beaten path scents that are done very well, that use high quality ingredients, that smell like nothing you've ever smelled, you need to check out this brand. It's not hype. I don't hype anything. I talk about what I love. I'm passionate about what I love. If I don't like it, it doesn't come here onto this channel. I talk about this brand constantly because I'm that passionate about the brand. I love them that much. And I think people need to experience them, especially because they are on the cusp of blowing up. So it's kind of nice to get, you know, I guess get in tune with the brand and their offerings before they become the hype. So you could you could say that you were there before they were the next big thing, you know? Because that's, that's my prediction. I've been saying it ever since I started talking about the brand. But anyway, guys, um, that's my list for 10 black bottle bangers. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's nice to be back here on uh, the tubes of you or YouTube. What you guys just didn't see, but I'll, I'll tell you right now because I'm always honest and transparent with you guys, is I forgot to tag people. So I literally stopped recording. I walked away. I was editing and then realized, oh, my God, I forgot to tag people. So here I am again. Brian, my two cents. I noticed that you are back, and I want to see what 10 black bottle bangers you have within your collection. And I want to leave it open. To anybody else, any other content creators that want to take part in this, go ahead. I don't want to obligate anybody except Brian because I feel like I've earned that in a in a sense, I guess. I don't even know what that means. I don't even cut back to whatever I was talking about. Until next time, all I ask of you guys, well, I guess I ask you more than just to like and subscribe, right? But no, really, guys, love yourselves, love each other. I'll see you very soon. Thank you. Peace.